This is a package I received in the mail yesterday. I love these bubble packs, don't y'all? And uh, it is from a fellow YouTuber. His name, his channel name is Gun God 556. And I wanted to show it to you if I can get the thing open I struggle with these packs um, you might as well see me struggle you always do I don't know what somebody that was really old I don't know how they would get into a package Thank you. this is too two knives very nice knives that he sent me it was it's a collector's edition um, I'm reluctant to I was reluctant to even take it out of the package old-timer trade since 1904 limited 2014 edition very nice um, gesture on his part um, wow this is the little sharp finger and it has a um, like scrimshaw and you know me and knives I always wanted one of these sharp fingers but I just never could get around to uh, make myself buy one that is very nice perfect for skinning a deer um, to be honest with you uh, he is not a great friend an awesome friend and a lot of the things that you hear to be honest I, I don't really know the guy um, he just felt like he wanted to send me this for some reason which uh, I have a hard time understanding why somebody would do something so nice it's just um, real nice knives quality knives uh, Schrade makes a good knife and I'm gonna try and not cut myself but uh, very nice collectors models here I'll put his link down below you can go look at his channel um, I don't watch all his videos I watch some of them sometimes um, it's hard to, to get around to everybody's videos but uh, I thought it was very nice of him to um, I'm gonna cut myself on camera it, it's very nice of him to take and make the time and effort to send it and I did want to acknowledge that and thank him for it very very nice collector's edition and I noticed that there are sheaths inside and uh, just real nice gift um, I, I, <laughs> I'm not deserving of this type of uh, uh, attention but uh, you know we have people that we talk with uh, I'll play trying to get this back in there later um, myself and knives just I, I use them but uh, sparingly um, I'll get this back in there I don't want to tear it up and it's just too nice but that is a gift from Gun God 556 and uh, I appreciate him going to the trouble taking the time and spending his hard earned money to send somebody like me I'm just a, a normal YouTuber uh, this is not a super channel this is just a channel where I try to show some of the things that I own and tips and occasionally a cooking video but uh, thank you very much 
um, I will take good care of it and I'll try to show a picture if I'm lucky this year of me maybe starting to cut on taking the hide off of a, a deer with it I've done that before but I wanted to share that with y'all and uh, I appreciate it I will cherish that forever alright y'all went to the gun shop the other day to see about getting a 1022 with an integral suppressor in it and uh, while they were checking to see if they could get one I saw this now this in all fairness to me it was on my bucket list Hornet fixer for president you better hurry up and announce this is a slab sided this particular one is the competition target model Ruger Mark III um, most of mine are 2245's this is the only one that I have that is actually the Mark III and I happened to see this uh, I, th I think it's got a 6.9 inch barrel and it just I had to have it look at it it's gorgeous it's a heavy pistol I'm not a competitive shooter but um, it's a nice looking pistol it came with two magazines 43.78 ounces or 70 ounces um, that's heavy it came with a rail and um, two magazines okay and a rail for mounting uh, nah maybe it's a little bit too big uh, I don't really need that I don't have a problem with my manhood I don't need a scope longer than the gun but uh, it's just a gorgeous pistol notice the thumb rest on the uh, on the grip there and on the other side just the medallion this particular one has a four pound trigger I don't know that I'll be fooling with the trigger if I do anything I'll put a Volkortz in um, a sear in there maybe at a later date and <clears throat> polish up the front of the uh, trigger of the, on the internal <clears throat> and uh, see if I can't get it down to around three pounds but I've always wanted a slab and now I've got it um, the sights um, the square notch as you can see that is the uh, target and if it were V and the barrel was fluted or something it would be the hunter the V notch um, comes on the hunter model but um, I just think it's well the long barrel uh, is what caught my attention and uh, I had to have it and it was on my bucket list but uh, as far as mods I will get rid of the uh, loaded chamber indicator you've seen me do that it's in my shade tree gunsmithing playlist on my home page and uh, I will be getting rid of the magazine disconnect you've seen me struggle with that but I will be getting rid of it and as far as the sights they say if the sight has the logo on it which this one does that the Williams fire sight rear sight will not fit it uh, I've sent um, 
a tandem cross an email to ask them if that still holds true but in any event I'll be changing the front side out for a Williams I'll probably have to buy the whole thing and uh, I just won't be able to use the rear sight <clears throat> and those are probably all the mods that I'll do to this but uh, it, it just feels good now uh, uh, an extended magazine uh, I, I can barely reach it now so extended magazine I don't think that would help much and I haven't had luck with extended magazines I've put them on a couple guns and I think I ended up taking them off I don't remember now this one here does have the whole book written down here about before using gun read warnings and instructions available free from stern Ruger. they could leave that off but uh, it's on the underside of the barrel I don't know if I'll uh, polish this up myself I, I've got a friend in Duluth and he did a whole Mosin Nagant wish he'd have made a video of it he said he did it with uh, fine sandpaper and mother's mag polish and uh, he's always been honest with me why wouldn't I believe it but um, I may try to polish it up a little bit but uh, just a nice looking uh, Mark III competition target model and uh, it's the only slab sided Ruger I own and uh, I'm not a competition shooter but obviously but uh, it's a gorgeous weapon thought you'd like to see it and uh, don't forget to vote for Jim should he ever announce his running that's a Ruger Mark III competition target gorgeous gun uh, longest barreled Ruger I have. Appreciate you watching. Catch you later. Bye.